Hello there and welcome to Foodie Legends, your go-to source for the best foods to eat around the world and its history. In our previous video, we flew to India to have a taste of their best traditional and comfort dishes. Perfection. Now, we're featuring Vietnam. What's the best way to start our first food trip? Well, we are going to have a taste of Vietnam's five strange delights that you should try at least once in your lives. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell so you guys can catch up to our latest food journeys. Without anything further to do, let's go! Our opening spot in this list is the best way to start today's episode. This dish brings fear and curiosity at the same time to the foreign eaters, but a special delicacy for the locals. Coming in at number one on our list is Tia Kang, or raw blood pudding. Filipinos love using blood as the main highlight of their famous dinuguan, or pork blood stew. The British have their blood pudding, and the Spanish got their morcilla. But these blood-centered delicacies share one familiar trait in common. The blood was cooked. The Vietnamese, on the other hand, love using blood just the way it is. Tiet Kang is a popular delicacy from northern Vietnamese cuisine, made from the blood of the freshly slaughtered duck. The blood is first collected and placed into a bowl, and it is prevented from coagulating prematurely by adding some fish sauce, which also gives it some umami flavor. The remains of the duck, such as the innards and meat, are cooked by frying, then chopped finely to smaller pieces. The chopped duck meat and innards are then added into a bowl, sprinkled with crushed peanuts and chopped herbs, such as mint and Vietnamese coriander. Meanwhile, the blood is diluted with some broth and quickly poured over the meat bowl. The mixture can be kept in the fridge to keep its coagulated dish, but it is best to consume it right away. As far as reactions go, it is not as bad as it sounds. The herbs and the fish sauce enhances the raw blood pudding, and you don't taste much of the blood. The meat also helps with experience as well. Controversies had risen regarding the consumption of this dish because of the possible presence of bacteria. But just like other raw dishes such steak tartare or sashimi, freshness of the ingredients, particularly the blood, must be of extreme priority. Do you want to try Tiet Kang? It is up to you and proceed with caution. Are you thinking that our first pick is already bizarre? You ain't seen nothing yet. Come back again. We are just getting started. Coming in second on a strange Vietnamese dishes you should try is not only a single dish, but an entire experience. A multi-course snake feast. Yeah, you heard us right. Eating snakes is already a growing delicacy in the world, but it is already a common ingredient in Vietnam. Highly valued for its supposed aphrodisiac powers for men, it is no wonder that snakes became a culinary curiosity. <laughs> yeah, boy. Just like most countries in Asia, Vietnam has a very frugal cooking philosophy. Cook what can be cooked and make it delicious is the summary of Vietnamese cuisine. While tourists may take eating snakes as a challenge, the locals consider it a regular part of the lifestyle. There are many ways to prepare a snake. With one snake alone, you can have a full course meal with beverages included. 7 kilometers northeast of Hanoi city center, there is a village known as Le Mat, popular for snake cultivation. Snakes used to be caught in the forest and to a certain extent it is still being practiced. But nowadays, it is more common for farmers to raise their own snakes because it is more efficient, easier, 
and not as dangerous. The price will depend on the size and the type of the snake. The bigger it is, the more expensive it is. From the small non-venomous types to the scary big cobras, you can have it if you are brave enough. Once the snake is butchered, some of its blood will be collected in a shot glass mixed with rice wine. Its organs such as the heart will be placed in the shot glass as well, covered with strong liquor to be gulped like a tequila shot. The snake carcass is then brought to the kitchen to be skinned, chopped, and cooked in various ways, served in the different phases of the meal. Such courses may include grilled snake ribs, snake meat soup, stir-fried snake innards, crispy snake skin, and its entire bones deep-fried like cracklings. It is a very mind-blowing experience that even veteran chefs like Gordon Ramsay squirm on experiencing this dinner course firsthand. Nevertheless, have a try of this snake course at least once and tell us about it in the comments section. Most of us have an aversion to eating bugs for various reasons. Well, understandable especially if these bugs earn the reputation of being pests to crops. Still, there are hidden gastronomic experiences hidden in these buggers, especially in Vietnam. Coming in third on our list is the coconut weevils, also known as coconut worms. The coconut worm is just one of the chapters in the life cycle of a coconut weevil, a species of the snout beetle. This bad boy is so notoriously pestilential that growing it is prohibited in Vietnam for destroying coconut trees. However, that doesn't stop this wormy treat from being sold in street food stalls all around the country. The coconut weevil is only edible and its worm form, and Vietnamese cooks surely found ways to make these creepers delicious. <laughs> Coconut worms can be enjoyed in different styles, breaded and fried, salted and roasted, baked with chili and salt, mixed in a bowl of porridge. But for those who want to have a go in the most traditional and exciting experience, the only way to eat the coconut worms is by eating fresh. And when we say fresh, we mean alive. There is even almost no cooking involved in it. All you need to do is to make a special dip made of fish sauce, a lot of red chilies, and some green herbs. The coconut worms are bathed in the spicy fish sauce, still wriggling as you put them in your mouth. Yum! Coconut worms are said to be sweet in taste, complemented by the spiciness and saltiness of the sauce. It's true! The wriggling and all can be quite disorienting, but give it a chance and you might like it. Coming in fourth on our list is Nam Chua, a delicacy that has the perfect balance between bizarre and tantalizing. Western countries have their steak tartare. Japan's pride is sashimi. Well, Nam Chua can be compared with these delicacies, but not quite. Nam Chua is a well-sought dish in Vietnam, something that you should try whenever you visit this country. There are various recipes for this dish, coming from Hue Lai Wong district near the Mekong River and in numerous restaurants in Vietnam. Nam Chua is a traditional pork dish made by curing and fermenting the meat. In a way, it is similar with certain cured meats such as ham, salami, and the Itag from the Philippines. But unlike the latter dishes, Nam Chua retains much of its vibrant colors. To make Nam Chua, the preferable cut of the pig are the thighs. It's meat minced and mixed with garlic, chili peppers, and typical Vietnamese herbs. The combined ingredients must be minced thoroughly, then wrapped in banana leaves shaped like small box rolls. The wrapped meat is then stored in a cool place for the natural fermenting process to happen, somewhere between 3 to 5 days. 
The final result is cubes of minced pork meat that has a sour, sweet, salty, and spicy flavor. Usually eaten as an appetizer topped with garlic and fish sauce, Nem Chua is sure to make your mouth salivate. Coming in last but not the least in our exotic Vietnamese food list is a fruit that is not only physically imposing, but it has an entirety so huge that you can be blocked in the airport and miss your flight if you are caught bringing this on board. The Durian Famous around Southeast Asia, this fruit has developed a divisive reputation for those who manage to peel through its spiky exterior, only to smell the insides that some people consider to be somewhat reminiscent of old cheese. Durian is known in Vietnam by its local name, Sao Riang. While durian can be eaten as it is, Vietnamese locals manage to convert it into several desserts, probably as a mild initiation for the curious eaters. These include popular sweets such as durian shake, durian ice cream, durian fruit cocktail, and a lot more. Durian may be something of an acquired taste, but if we can eat it in these forms, then we don't know what will. Thanks again for tuning in with us here today at Foodie Legends for our latest episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a nice taste into the bizarre delights Vietnam has to offer. Before you go, be sure to like this video and click the subscribe button for more delicious content every week. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. So leave a comment below to let us know what's your favorite part of the video was or if you want to just leave us with a few thoughts. You guys are awesome. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.